Like we got it's a, a BT! Action. Oh my god. It's an agent! What's going on, man? Not a whole lot. How are you tonight? I'm doing well. I'm just kind of waiting to see if you and I are on the same screen. I see graveyard armos. I see white pail armos. All right. Looks like Fred's off to a left early start. Random is negotiating some Lynels here. Ooh, and magical see. sword. What's in there? The sword is in the sword cave. And it looks like a power bracelet in its normal spot. This could prove to be a vanilla overworld. What do you think, BT? Looks like it. We got a power bracelet in the power bracelet spot. We got a magical sword in the magical sword spot. I think these guys got to start heading towards the start cave. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, simple size of two is fantastic to guess that it's normal overworld, but we'll see what happens here as they go towards start. And it was a raft, not a PB. It was still made of wood. It's still brown. It's brown and it's made of wood. Is this a riddle? It's a sword! Ta-da! Alright, I got a whole lot of nothing here. All Looks right. like we've got that sword at the start cave. Who would have known? Who predicted this? So random effect making his way up to level one. Meanwhile, uh, sword get for Fred Coughlin as well. Looks like he's going to make the same exact play. All right. Well, I like to get candle nice and early. Do we? The, the sword cave didn't have an extra candle in there, did it? Did not look like it. So we're going to have to buy a candle. But one is in one. Pretty exciting. Both players have found level one. One of the players has found a key. Keys proving to be very important in this particular randomizer. Yep, and it doesn't. It's not shapes, so maybe these guys should have gone to level three first. Yeah, check and see if it's second quest overworld or not. I, I assume that will be the next place that they will head to. But, uh, you know, anytime the casters say something, they tend to do the exact opposite. Yeah, I wouldn't want to try to lay down a prediction here, but I'm pretty much just watching, you know, the same race on two screens with two different sprites. Pretty That's much. Very early stepladder here. Yeah, great find at three minutes into the seed. So items are indeed shuffled. Good job, chat. That could be a cactus if you want it to be. <laughs> it's a flying cactus. It's a it's a cactar with arms outstretched. He wants a cactar hug. So with uh, those Gurria didn't drop any bombs for either player. So level one is a little kind of forcing you in the upper right corner here. It looks like drops are in their normal locations as well. Uh, just looking at some of these rooms, enemies are shuffled, but that was the, looked like the keys room that you normally go into on the left-hand side of one that drops the key. So uh, I'm wondering if you'll see Triforces in their regular rooms. Well, didn't Random just get to the upper right corner and not find a Triforce? He found the Stalfos key room. Right, but the Triforce could still be in the Triforce oh, mean... room. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. The actual room configuration. Yeah, that is absolutely correct. Meanwhile, these guys is playing the game of Leapfrog as they literally go to the same rooms over and over again and pass each other. I'm looking for just an, a stray item on the ground. Looks yeah, like this is going to start drilling some keys. 
This should be the this should be the drop room if we uh it's, oh, a it's key. not it's a key. Oh my god, a key. So what, the room behind the tri the Triforce? Or Ooh, the heart room. Yeah, so it looks like the uh, very top corner <laughs> should contain the item. So and it's neither of them has got bombs. Yeah, it's obviously bomb blocked, so Let's see what let's see what the strategy is. So Fred up A's and goes to talk to the old man and random just bails out. So I'm wondering if we got the shuffle drop groups. Uh, one of the worst settings ever. My, uh, <laughs> my personal specialty, my addition to the randomizer. And it proves to be a real pain in the neck in these randomizer seeds when you can't find a bomb for 30 minutes. So random, I think he wants to try out this new power bracelet shaped raft he found. Yep, and you know what? I wish we could change that around and just, oh, just click a button, all of a sudden it is a power bracelet. Looks like he's going to head to level four. Ooh, has a ladder already. Good choice. <laughs> Looks like Fred wants to go up to level six. Oh, man, and it proves to be bomb blocked if he doesn't have a staircase, which he might. One HP enemies or low HP fire. No, it is not a staircase. It is a bloomer. But he's not going to be able to progress in level 6 either. Good Triforce there. Ignored by random. He'd rather go talk to Zelda Old Man. Hashtag winning. Yeah, so early Triforce pickup in level 4 here for random. The Triforce is, in fact, in its room. So we'll have to confirm with uh, you know a larger sample size than one. But we should be seeing most of the Triforces in their rooms. And meanwhile, Fred, tired of playing the RNG game, does choose to purchase a four-pack of bombs out of the shop just east of level six. A very, very wise maneuver. It's in fact so wise, Random is going to pull off the same stunt. Different shop, same trick. It's, uh, you know, Ooh. great men think alike. Good, good rapidy rap there by Fred. That was pretty swift. Now he's up into level 4 with bombs. Looks like a blue Octorok dropped a bomb, so drop groups, probably normal. Moment of truth. Fire dropped a bomb too, so looks like this is just a regular old seed with the dungeon items swapped around. Man versus beast here. Yeah, so this should prove to be a fairly quick race. Uh, obviously, you need to find the recorder. Raft already located, but once the recorder found, these guys could just make a beeline for level 9. Why do they call it a beeline? Bees are really, really erratic when they fly. A BT line, is that better? Oh, man. Now the bees jump. Not the bees. Not the bees! Ooh, call it the BT line when he's going rupees. after a lava cake. Not enough to upgrade your bombs, you're just 84 short. Ooh, How did and go? Any key there for random effect in level 3. Very nice find early. Yep, sure enough. Get four keys, receive any key. Oh wow, Fred negotiating that. Very, very interesting river room. So I'm going to guess we don't have shuffled drop groups, as we've seen uh, Blue Octorox and Vyres both drop bombs and nothing else wanting to drop any, so I'm going to make that assumption at this point. Well, you know what happens when you assume things? You're often correct, because you're a gen. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Triforce, level 3 complete, the Manji is done. For Mr. Random, effect. Not Mr. Random himself, Fred Coughlin. Yeah, random effect picking up the Triforces and levels in 3 and 4, completing the rocket engines of his spaceship. This guy's just hanging around the center of bottom of Hyrule here. I want to see don't... Random try and take off, get somewhere good. I don't believe we've seen a candle shop yet, Jake Oper. We've seen a bomb shop. Two bomb shops, in fact. Fred pulls off the late clip in the dark. Candleless also. Just get the 
Link's little hat on top of the top rung of that step ladder, and you can double clip across the lake room. Yeah, Fred making great use of this blue boomerang. Uh, you can chuck it across the screen, and it will come back and just take out everything along the way. So using that to great effect to quickly clear out those keys rooms. Fred does not pick up the map. Do you think he knows what level four is shaped like? Do you think it's shaped like a cactus? I would think so. Random is going to go see where the bombs lead him in level one. I no rule it's predominantly occupied by cacti. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a bow! Wow, this four. steed being extremely generous to these guys early. Will I even need a bow? And a wand on top of it for random effect in one. Alright, so he's got eternal beams, basically, that wand to let him shoot a projectile at these no-health enemies. So that means level 1 had the stepladder and the wand. A good way to start off any randomized match. Yeah, and you have, to, you have to imagine that Random Effect will search level 4 for its items, so the bow is not going to be an issue for him to find. So, at this point, really, it just comes down to finding that recorder, just so you can complete the seed. No, good point. They do have to dig for that recorder. They don't have to dig for the power brace, because it looks like we're just standard level, or first quest overworld. Random's going to go ahead and pick up a heart container here, it looks like. So, let's talk strategy. Fred is pretty hard to uh, win a race against, especially in the one-on-one -on -one matches where he puts a lot of effort in. What do you do if your random effect trying to beat Fred? Do you get lucky, find the recorder, and stop searching for items, and just hope you don't have to kill Ganon, or what can you do? Yeah, Fred's pretty methodical in his play. He usually doesn't like to make large gambles, but you know he may change the way that he plays here against random effect. Being it's being a a three and O versus a three and O matchup, you know both wanting to get one of those top seed buys. If, if I'm random effect, you know I would take that into account in that you know Fred plays consistently. I may have to make a gamble that I don't normally make, such as not looking for the bow or, you know, not trying to find the silver arrows in an attempt to move faster through the seed. Looks like Fred got ran through by a dark dun in level three. He's going to have to start this dungeon over a little bit. Fortunately, level three is pretty short, and I believe he's actually going the correct direction now, so might have actually saved him some time. A blessing, Death. Thanks, dark dun. Oh man, ropes in a sandy room. They're not the easiest things to see. And the key to boot. Don't forget your key. Try and change your A key into a B key. It's a lot of Gria. Level Does two. a B key open bomb walls too? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> no, nothing from the gels. Another key. More ropes. All right. Fred getting sweet vengeance on these dark nuts. Yeah, unfortunately taking a wrong turn at Albuquerque there instead of sticking up with the spine. Looks like we might have zero HP bosses, but we got a double KO on our uh, random effect side there. Shift, trying to destroy humor with reality. I don't know, why would you, uh... So the room drops aren't shuffled around, we kind of found out earlier, Joe. So... If, uh... Yeah, if Red Effect is indeed trying to fish out an item at a level 2, he's gonna look for rooms that don't have an item already on the ground, and can have a drop. Like, for example, the room he's in now with the ropes is the Master Rope Room. So there's no room drop in there. Yeah, and, and more to that point, since the drops are not shuffled, uh, such as Triforces are in their room, Hearts are in their room, level 2, the item will be in the 4 turret room where it normally is, so that should be the room he's looking for, and it does look like it's actually the room to the west of the Triforce. It's always in the last place you look. Well, actually, he's got one other spot, but, you know, it is always the last place that you look. You know, Zarblax, you get the hang of it after a while, you do, you know... Uh, several hundred of these rando races. You get the hang of which rooms drop items, which rooms don't. But now you have the... Uh, oh, it's the magical shield. You know what that means. 
We've got a boomstick. The Infinity Bombs glitch is uh, ripe for the taking. And I bet you it's really easy to find secret money on this map. Uh, yeah, in the early one for random effect, uh, if Fred does not go back early to check that, that could prove to be quite interesting. And a red ring on the coast for Fred Coughlin. Well, I don't think Darknet's going wow. to through anytime soon. What What is this seed, BT? Uh, this is just a gift. This is Chris Kringle, come early. Who picked the Who picked the seed number? Let's see here. Uh oh, who was it? Yeah, this is going to be a very, very fast seed. Uh, the only jamming. thing, only thing holding these guys back, is a recorder and possibly silver arrows, which, as pointed out by CCX, means that the silver arrows could in fact be somewhere else. Let's hope for deep in level seven. And a candle by four, random effect, and he's also found the book location. Do you think he'll just go right to level eight now? I would certainly hope so. Or maybe check the coast. I would check the coast item first, having a ladder, but it, you have to assume it's a heart. So, you know, I don't oh, know. Man, I hope we'll he, see uh, if it costs him anything. Yeah, I don't want to see him get wrecked in level eight by some vicious pulls voice and such. Oh, choosing to take the heart loss instead of just up and aing out. Interesting choice. Ooh, no recorder yet. I don't think that room was very important. Didn't look important to me. Whew. And another one. <laughs> yeah, I just died completely. Meanwhile, Fred, Fred going hyper incognito mode. This is the advantage of being the randomizer creator. You can go into stealth mode, and your opponent has no idea where you are. Oh, wait for Fred to get back up. We will uh, observe random effect, use the effect of the stopwatch to make Paul's voice just completely impotent. Another clock. This seed is this seed's just an embarrassment. I don't think he's planning on getting the uh, the uh, Book of Wand explosion. I think he's just determined to finish this seed quickly. And I think that might be an effect of uh, playing against Fred in Super Incognito mode. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things where you know where the secrets are, and it, they may not be super far out of the way for him. It, it'll just depend. We'll see what he does. All right. I got Fred... Let's see. Fred's going in and out of level two several times. Finally blows a hole at the top of level two here. Silver arrow get. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> Easy game. All right, so random effect is in look for recorder mode. And since yeah. the, uh, the red ring was on the coast, the... Recorder could be the white sword item. Yeah, that is true. Or the white sword could be the white sword item. Well, yeah, the magical sword was the magical sword. But the white sword is shuffled on a separate flag, right? Yeah, that is separate from uh, both the ladder heart and the power bracelet and the major item shuffle. Whew. Oh, another stairway here in level 8. Mind the pulls, boys. And we get the power bracelet. Alright, alright, we can push things around. We can take any road. Ugh. Yeah, take any roads are not exactly bad either. With their start screen, it gives them pretty good access to get around the overworld. Yeah, that, that grave push uh, area is pretty underrated in most seeds. An incredibly fast level 8 here for random effect, finding both items oh. and the Triforce and the heart uh, with you know extreme he speed. Done? He should have poked Aquamenus once to see if boss HP was shuffled around. I'm not sure if it is or not. I think, I, I could be wrong, but I think that he was fighting a two-headed Gleok. It took out a Gleok head as he died and a single sword hit. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive we've got zero uh, boss HP here. Okay, cool. Fred making the same mistake. He doesn't need hearts. He has a red ring. 
But you know who's about to get his own red ring. Yeah, random effect picking up the red ring as well. Looks like he's going to go perhaps get a, I would say maybe a potion at this point off of the raft location would be a good play. You would think that. But then again, you're never wrong. Instead, he goes for the BT hearts and gets himself up to six, guaranteeing that if the white sword is, in fact, the recorder, he will be able to pick it up. Ooh. Fred just running through a pile of bunnies. But I guess he can't care. Red ring and all. They yeah, only do red half ringing. part of the damage instead of the usual two. Red ring like you just don't care. Mm. He is just not going the right way in level eight. This is this is not looking great so far for Mr. Fred, but things can change quickly. It's just all a matter of who finds that recorder. <laughs> Random effect, kind of like, why do they go in that shop? Kind of a symptom of uh, playing a little bit too much any percent, I think. All right. Level he five. Does, he does choose to, to not go get the haunted secret, so I think you're correct in that he is not even making a play for the book at this point. No, nah, it lags every screen. Uh, Kappa! Another one, huh? Oh, man, and he chooses to take it. That's crazy. Oh. I would have just left, checked the white sword real quick, and came back. That's not even a, that's not a well, big deal. Well, there's an answer for you. Oh, what if it's six hearts and it's a recorder? Yeah, that's pretty much an 11% chance. Maybe a little bit less. But hilarious! <laughs> It's happened. So, I mean, do you really want a boomstick if nine is not, you know, jumbled up? Oh, of course. Makes wizard robe super easy. You get AOE explosions, you get to open walls faster. You know, it's, uh... I don't know, it just depends. If, if you have to go a lot out of your way, which in a shuffled overworld, perhaps you could say you are going out of your way a lot to get the two secrets. But if you've already got a wand, the boomstick just makes, it makes this, especially with a red ring, you just go into face roll mode on your controller. You don't even have to think about what you're doing. You just throw beams everywhere and go. Man. Must be nice. I don't know what a boomstick's like. I bought the book twice early in two of my seeds and never found the wand because it was in seven both times. It's always all about you, HN. It is. All right, what are we gonna do, Dig Dogger? You gonna let Fred bomb out of here? No? All right, we'll just leave. So chat, get your guesses in. What is the white sword item going to be? We have a orange boomerang. A... What else could it possibly be? I'm gonna go with red candle. Red candle? I haven't seen one of those in a while. He's hiking up the stairs. But it I has to be felt. recorder, I think. Refusing to blink as he approaches the blue Lionel. That's exactly what we thought it was. Except, he got it with five hearts. Yeah, so a little bit of relief, I think, for him in that it was, in fact, five hearts. That's a real fast up and A out of random. Fred is just getting tossed and turned around in this dungeon. He picked up a compass, but he is uh, he's a couple Triforces behind. Yeah, Fred unfortunately took a couple of turns that Random Effect did not take, and uh, Random made it really quick through the like level 3 and level 8 specifically, uh, taking the direct route to both the items and the Triforce, and has saved a couple of minutes doing that. Big no thank you to the Blue Boomerang in level 6 for Random Effect. Kitsu that I blame him at this point. He does have a wand and does ha have everything else that he needs. He's got to be in go mode at this point. Is missing the bow, which we know to be in level four, but he has gambled previously on not having a bow in one. So oh. we'll see what he does this time around. Fred's just getting really healthy. He's got a whole bottom row of hearts. That's 32 effective. HP. Yeah, and look at that quick Triforce for random effect in level 6. He is just flying. 24 minutes has one Triforce left. 
All right, we got a toot. Where can you go from level six if you toot a couple times? To the right, you can go to level three if it's your first time tooting. And if you've completed dungeons three and two. This is geographically closest to level seven. Fred choosing to take the heart rat as well. He says, go ahead and poke a couple of these extra Gibdos. He doesn't like having just one bomb on hand. My eyes! It's like somebody got a catapult full of pastel purple marshmallow peeps and just splattered them all over this dungeon. Another alternative might be Pepto Bismol. It's a little more purple than the Pepto I buy. Oh man, Fred found himself in a room full of bombs. I bet you he's oh, look at the Triforce for random. Oh, Holy wow. cow! High level seven, by level seven. Man, random effect is just tearing through this seed. He is making sweet, sweet love to that pen he's jotting all his notes down onto. Yeah, Pepto Abysmal Dungeon with an extra tab of red number 33. So, I mean, this is it, right? He's gonna. He has a good chance to get, you know, the uh, any percent world record here. Uh, yeah, right? In the, in, in the foyer. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is uh, probably the right call. Again, you have a 50% chance that cannon's not even required. He knows the ball won't be in nine, and at this point, level four would be his first choice which we know is the bow so i think he's sitting really good and it's gonna have to be i think a really bad level nine for fred to catch up oh um, yeah that's actually pretty hopeless for fred but uh we'll see what happens i mean i could be wrong it's just not enough there's not enough mistakes to make if you're a random effect with a red ring he can't he's not gonna get himself into a situation where he's stuck he should clear this room for a compass. Yeah, wisely stops, and yeah, because this could be the compass room. Who and followed it's a by room. another one? Game giving him multiple chances. He does not clear that one, though. Yeah, well, key, sir. It take a while. Who needs a compass if Zelda's just right next to you? Ooh, Fred's gonna take any road. And it is better to whistle to three instead of four if you're headed to seven, because vertical screen scrolls are the way that the the screen moves is continuous, and the screen is wider than it is tall. Yeah, I mean, skipping, like, uh, AA is saying it's probably not the best choice to skip a possible compass room, as there's only <laughs> two left, and one of them will contain the compass, but, uh, you know, randoms, randoms taste in that... Uh, fastest seed in the tournament right now also he is uh he's got his nerves going because well he doesn't have a bow but he also he's in nine he thinks that uh you know fred's probably in nine also and i just saw him nervously grab a grab up 10 rupees off the ground he's in ganon's room without a bow he says nope see ya yeah, Ganon, notably in Ganon's room, which is a big deal, means Zelda is very likely to be in hers. Yeah, but is the shutter closed or is the shutter open? It's a grand question. Stay tuned, and right here on Jam Evil, we'll find out after this. Yeah, you can, you can definitely tell that Random is a little bit nervous. Uh, you know, again, playing against somebody of Fred's caliber, you have to think that going through his mind is if I am already a nine, Fred is already a nine. And does Fred have the bow? Because I don't. And what if Ganon is in fact required? And there we go. Fred wisely goes to level three. Just a couple screens north. Level seven. And then... Oh, and she is blocked. Oh. He's got to go find a bow. All right, so here we go. So this is now anybody's game because Whoa, we know Fred's that get, seven and six Fred's is getting cash. Let's back up, back the truck up. Fred is picking up rupees. He knows there's a book. He wants a boomstick. He just got the wand. Does he want a bomb upgrade? He's going to seven. Oh, 
he does not go up in seven. Yeah, but you have to think that he's going to make his way back that direction. And six was really quick along the way, too. So all of a sudden, this becomes a very close game because if I remember right, the bow is quite a ways up in level four. And so this could, if Fred takes the right directions, make this a really close race. Fred also stopped to double back to boomerang a five rupee on the ground. I think he wants some more cash. And if he runs into a book, he'll buy it. You know, Fred could also could be thinking that the sea is going his w his way as well. He doesn't have the comparison on screen to say, oh, you know, how good is this compared to my opponent? He just knows he that this goes is good up. for him. Yeah, he's he is completely le leapt over the Triforce, and now he's just in no man's land. Maybe yeah. we'll see what the item is. Yeah, I mean, you got to hope that he finds a, an early compass at this point, because he could spend upwards of three or four minutes in here, unfortunately, searching for a Triforce. That is literally one room from start. Oh, maybe he wants his heart container as well. So, yeah, the it's a nice first quest overworld with, you know, first quest dungeons, of course. But the, the old man who takes away your things is in the seed, which is a nice little dimension. Doesn't go for a double clip here. Does pick up all of the money. And lays down a bomb. Not interested to see where these stairs go. Yeah, this is one of those times that it's unfortunate that you have eight hearts and a red ring. Because really, really what Fred wants to do right now is die. He just doesn't know it. Yep. Yeah, and I call this one at about a... About a 33 minute seed for RE if he can figure out how to get off his ladder and not into the bow. I never like doing clips from the top like this. It, it's difficult for me to do, so I just always go to the side. Yeah, practice with a Lionel Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Alright, Fred has reached the tip of the nose. And now he will start heading back towards room drops guessing which way do I go George which way do I go yeah so unfortunately uh, Fred's kind of chance to catch up in the seed has slowly slipped away as he took the incorrect direction here in level 7 and random effect has now located the bow okay so this gives him about a 3 minute 30 second deadline and I don't think Fred's within that range but Let's see if he remembers where he spotted Gan and he knows how he can get back to Zelda. And he's been taking very, very interesting notes, I'm sure. But plentiful notes is all I can see from this angle. D Hunter thinks it's going to be a sub 35. It'll be yeah, close. A, a, if he just had it in his mind that he wanted to go south, I think his routing mind was just to go up, down, right, up, down. Kind of a zigzag through. Fred did buy the bomb upgrade. Interesting. He knows level 9, you know, it's probably going to be level 90. So having bombs is nice. Man, uh, he's, he's just deep in the 7 still. And to answer uh, Shift's question, uh, Random Effect does know where Ganon is and does know where Zelda is. And it's a pretty direct path to both, so this should be a pretty quick finish here for him. Well, everyone in chat seems to be hoping that RE stumbles into a pile of Gerudo Valley suplexes. Seven contains the heart container, which Fred will pick up. All right, so the heart container from the coast was swapped with the red ring, and the white sword was swapped with the item in place. <laughs> Amazing Amphoro saying, it takes about five Ganon deaths to even this race up. I would have to probably agree, unfortunately, for Fred. Fred right. going to up A, and let's see if he walks straight up, which he does. And the whole time it was and right hello. there, Fred. Well, let's hope he stops by and tr picks up a heart and tries to wield a magical sword. There's a Ganon fight going on, for those of you interested. Looks like Ganon has at least one HP. At least two HP. Because he has a white sword. Alright. Let's see some... Random making this interesting. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the nerves will get to him. Two more, right. two more fireballs, and he's going to go down. Oh, no. 
Oh no! Oh, he gets him. Oh, that was actually really close. Oh man, he knows. He knows better. He's walked into a, a red Ganon and killed himself before in a previous race, I'm sure, <laughs> because he very carefully walked up above Ganon and shot the arrow down. Yeah, this this is one of those things again that kind of showcases understanding the Ganon pattern can be super useful. Um, standing on the left hand side is not always the best strategy. Fortunately, it does have a red ring, but uh, and, it can and... be very costly. He just deflected a, a wizard beam. He has that magical shield still. He hasn't spent enough time in a like like either. All right, looks like Fred's picked up his last Triforce and got himself a little gold split because he routed himself as effectively as he could. Let's see how long level nine takes Mr. Fred. And, oh, we found a link in the link room. 3521, so yeah, that, that puts him in the... Uh, over 35 minute category. GG's all around. Yeah, super Random solid effect. run. As I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go spy on him. He's actually a very interesting dude. As I'm sure he's gonna join us here in chat. He has taken his any percent no up a time down a lot recently. And I'm gonna go and see what he's uploaded. Yeah, fantastic uh, run by by Random Effect. Just found everything in the right order and took the right path through the dungeons. Uh, unfortunately, Fred taking a couple of side routes that cost him a little bit of time. Otherwise, Fred making the exact correct choices as well. Uh, just, again, unfortunately, and 3, 7, and 8 taking a little bit of a detour compared to Random Effect. Yeah, and just recently, uh, he did get a sub-31 in quite the run. Be sure to check out the level 6. Oh my goodness! And it turns out that this keys room that he skipped did in <laughs> fact contain the compass. Unfortunately for Fred, this is not going to give him a yep, there it is. end. It's just going to give him information. Wow! Look at that route. He sees the shutter. The this is down. so close. Fred could have the fastest non-winning time, but probably won't. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, nah. again, Ganon being up in the top corner, he's probably not going to check there anytime soon. This is probably like a four minute nine. I mean, if you're if you're equipped. That was a very very interesting interesting race. See, not very interesting, but just to see, you know, give you guys an idea of. The decision matrix that you take with you when you go into a race and how it can just change your position. Yeah, for sure. And I believe we have a random effect with us in the commentator's booth. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Man, nice job, Ari. Did you uh did you feel like the seed was pretty easy and Fred was on your heels the whole time, or what was going through your mind? Uh absolutely. <laughs> uh I found when I found the ladder and the the key very early in dungeons that you would explore early. It, I knew that he was right behind me, and so that was my decision to not search four and to not search seven and just go for gotcha. it. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, and I I fully understand that my level nine had to have been. It, it was so lucky. Um, for me to take that one door to the left in the northeast. Uh, I don't really know why I did that. Um, I But when I did that, and then I heard Ganon, I was like, oh, well, let me see if I can, because I know where he is now, absolutely. So let me see if I can bomb in here, and at least I have a path to Ganon if I know it. Um, and I don't know how, I haven't really been watching anything. I don't, I don't know, I haven't really been listening uh, for you guys. I don't know what... Uh, where he's at and how close it was. Uh, but I figured that if it was really close, the Ganon find would have been the major difference. Yeah. You just had a, uh, a very, very successful overworld. And really? it put, put you into level nine quite, quite early, I would say. Oh. Uh, about almost, I don't want to say 10 minutes, but like on, I'm looking at your splits here and 
Oh. Fred picked up his last Triforce piece at the 10 minutes after you picked up your last Triforce piece. Okay, wow. I. However, your nine could have gone a lot better because had you successfully killed three more keys in that dark room, you would have had a compass in your hands. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we were... <laughs> We saw you clear the one dark room. We're like, yes, he knows it's a dark room. and He knows there's a compass in there. And then it was just a five rupee. And, and then you're like one spit and twice shy. And just going to keep plowing through nine. I guess. So. I don't know. I, I I knew that the room drops weren't really shuffled. But I don't, I don't know why. I was kind of on a one track mind, I guess, at that point. Yeah, we saw some nerves in there. We saw, I saw you double back to pick up rupees, which you actually had been ignoring in all of the other dungeons. But... You know, just to get the heart pumping, and you just want to finish the seed. You know, you can the pretty end much. Is in sight. Yeah, my heart was actually kind of pumping because I was like, "Well, I, I know where to go." I guess, like, I knew everything. Now. I was like, "Well," especially once I went back into nine, my heart started pounding. I was like, "I just basically when I wasn't looking at the screen, I was staring at the SRL, just waiting for the dot done to happen oh. uh, for for Fred because I was like, I feel like he's gonna be dot dunning right in front of me." Yeah, I mean, I've I have had the pleasure of losing to Fred. I'll just put it that way. It's uh, <laughs> you should you should feel pretty good right now. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, I was you. Uh, Fred usually beats me in in the randomizer races. So I, again, like same as with uh, with some of the other races I had. Like I wasn't expecting to win tonight. Um, I was just gonna, you know, do my best and. I'm I'm very happy that I think I I've now gambled, uh, I've gambled in all my races on level nine like open, open uh, open room, ending uh, with Zelda or Link in my case, uh, so I wanted to keep that tradition alive. <laughs> well, that's yeah. the right attitude to bring into a race. Go ahead, Agent. I was gonna say a lot of what what this came down to is um, your routing through the dungeons has was just incredibly efficient. Uh, level 8, you found both items in the Triforce. You found the Triforce super quick in 7. Fred, unfortunately, took a trip up the spine and nearly full cleared 7. Oh, wow. Uh, just to find the Triforce in that room. So uh, 3, 8, and 7, he spent... Um, he went the wrong direction in those dungeons, and it cost him a little bit of time gotcha. uh, overall. And I think that is probably the, the difference maker here, um, for the most part, that 10-minute that time difference between your Triforces. Because you were just literally just picking the right route and going and it was it was crazy um just seeing your splits there that's nuts yeah this was ridiculous and i i know that i i mean level seven triforce was literally like right north of start i think uh in the, yes. in the in the dungeon which was i just kind of i don't know i don't really have a great routing through the levels like a planned route i just kind of went around and i was like i'm gonna clear the bottom part first before i move up and so that's why i did that roundabout way and then came back down Right, I this figured just, oh, this ahead. just in. Fred has slaughtered Ganon, and he's on his way to the nice. short room. So to give you an idea about how far ahead you were at the very end there, Fred did visit the tip of the nose in level seven. Oh wow! Oh, takes a nice little bop off a of keys to shorten the distance to Zelda. <laughs> Gets the bomb ready and a nice little explosion finish, bringing him in at an SRL time of. 4303. 43 minutes, three seconds. Thank you, Agent. Did he do a bomb swag ending? He made a very, very good attempt at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he tried his best and he failed miserably. The lesson is never try. Oh, no. How are you doing? <laughs> Fred Simpson, the man himself, how do you feel about that seed? What would you have done differently? Taking a better turn in seven. Right? <laughs> it cost me a large portion of the time gap there. Not all of it, but a really good portion of it. So Yeah, that's what it sounds like. They were telling me that uh, I think my level seven and eight were much better than yours, I think, overall, potentially. Yeah, seven. Yeah. Seven, I did uh, nearly a full clear on in the end. Oh, I yeah, took I a think... left instead of up from start. I and did I that too. I don't hunted. I did that too, but I, w I doubled back. So I, I, I went up the spine, but then only a few rooms, and then I went straight back down. So. Uh, I found something and just kept zigging and zagging my way through. And yeah, that cost a lot of it. Um, yeah, eight was a little bit worse. So I was going to say, I definitely ended up taking an indirect group. I went there earlier, so I was still kind of item hunting because I hadn't been up to get the recorder yet, and I knew I needed the recorder. 
Yeah, yeah, same here. I got the recorder after five. Yeah, because I basically five was my third to last dungeon. I was planning to go back into one because I was bomb blocked from Triforce in one at first. Or I guess it was uh, fourth to last dungeon, but I was bomb blocked from level. Yes, I was bomb blocked from level one as well. Actually, I, I did. I found one item and then I left because and then I did four and three because uh, I found the. Yeah, the raft. Raft under the power bracelet. So I went to four and three, and then once I had bombs, I went back to one and finished it up, and then went to the forest. Yeah, I went one, four, three, screen wrap, hit two, then eight, five, but I ate up some time just from a few bad little things here and there, so. It sounds like we did exactly the same route. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> ended up with For a lot first? better execution in the right turns. Did you find the, the bow in four? Minute. Yeah, Sorry. oh, I definitely found that there. For the first 10 minutes, you guys literally were just playing leapfrog tag. You were on the same screen or entering and exiting the same screen within frames of each other. It was great. Nice. That's beautiful. I left I left the bow in four um, and until I realized, until I found Ganon and Zelda and had to go back for it. I got two, yeah, two questions for you guys. Yeah, one question for Fred. And it was picking up the 100 rupees on the way to seven and then collecting more rupees within seven. Were you trying to save up for a book or are you just hoping to wander into a bomb upgrade or two? No, at that point I had the wand. So if I had managed to get the book, then I would have had boomstick and you know things would have been great. But then I saw the bomb upgrade just sitting there in front of me and said, well, 12 bombs is probably in a quote unquote standard level nine. Probably I won't run out if I'm full of bombs there. So I took it at that point and just said, let's go with it. Okay, okay, just seeing what was going on in your head there. And random, trying to clip downwards across the double tile lake in level four oh, with the Zelda sprite. Uh -huh. What about it? Let the records show that random says. Ugh. <laughs> I yeah, I was in that. I was doing trying to get the reverse ladder clip for like a good 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, we were just amazed. Um, Someone in I mean, chat I, was wondering why you just didn't go to the go to the right. Uh, I don't know. I just I felt like doing it. Like it was it was in my head. I was like, I'm gonna get this at some point. <laughs> so yeah, you have kind of a a, a stubborn routing. So do you make a plan when you enter a dungeon of how you're gonna sweep through the rooms and you kind of stick to it as best you can, or do you kind of just uh, you know make make a decision room by room and then decide what you're gonna do? I more make it room by room. Um, I, I don't really, because I didn't really play this randomizer too much when it when the shapes were off. A lot of my practice in randomizer is with shapes. So the actual routing when it's regular vanilla dungeon uh, layouts, I, I just don't have it. Usually my keys or the doors kind of dictate themselves to me on the route. Um, but with an early any key, I could literally go anywhere. So I, I don't know. I think I just got pretty lucky in, in some of it. Good to know. Good to know. Fred, you were just handed your first loss in this tournament. And where do you go from here? Hopefully nowhere but up. I mean, right now, at this point, three and one, at least I don't have to do the play in round. Um, so that's going to make the turning life a little bit easier it's still gonna be a slugfest regardless of where i end up so just gotta play this next game now pretty much at this point i'm gonna be playing you know each game is probably my last game so i'm just gonna have to fight through it as best as i can to try to uh hopefully get lucky and uh keep going all right there's another race going on i just wanted to give one more uh get, pick your brain one more time here fred what is your uh does your logic and your pathing change when shapes are on or off um, it looks like random well, trying well, to I mean, apply as random logic to the standard shape maps. So if you know what the maps are shaped like, what do you do differently? Uh, main thing I tend to do, I tend to you know try to minimize my backtrack tracking where at all possible. So I try to choose paths, obviously bomb walls permitting and stuff, key walls permitting, to try to hit as many of the rooms in order as I can without having to double back. That was part of the painful part about four was I just, you know, that's probably the reason I kept digging deeper and deeper, even though I think there were like one or two points where I missed a room or two. It was, well, you know, if I go back now to those other ones and I'm wrong, then I'm going to have to double back further to get back to, you know, where it was and the, where the bow ended up being. So it was like that. And a similar logic there on seven, actually, I didn't follow my own standard logic. Um, 
typically I try to explore close to the entrance first. So as if the other person happened to, you know, oh gee, walk up one room and there's a Triforce. So that way I try to mitigate that damage. And why apparently my brain did not decide to work with that strategy tonight. And well, that, I mean, it was not the entire difference in our runs there, but that could have at least put me four minutes closer. Yeah, I mean, it, it all makes sense until it goes horribly wrong. Oh, yeah. Hey, GG, both you guys, thank you so much for giving us a very entertaining and a very tight race there at the beginning. And, uh, yeah, I think we should just go and see what's going on over here with Riker Ryder and the Seawolf over at the Dave. That sounds hey, Jim, good. what do you got? Yep, thanks again lot, for, for racing and for Jamie for doing these restreams like he does. He is a, a beast, and uh, it's very much appreciated by everybody. And thank you to BT for commentating with me for, I think, the first time in over a year, so it was fun. Yep, came out of the woodwork just for you, buddy. Um, enjoying the randomizer. I hope to see you all out there, and I get to fight each and every one of you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. No, it's the Dave. <laughs>